Hey, what's up guys? Um, some folks had a couple questions about my rainwater setup here that I'm collecting. Um, so I just want to show you guys what I did and uh, the equipment that I bought. So um, this is the barrel I got from Amazon. Um, I'll put some links in the uh, description below. And I also got this rainwater diverter. So this piece I had to cut out some of the gutter with and um, attach. And you can see I put some extra flex tape and stuff on there just to seal it up better. Um, so inside, open this up. So there's this screen here, this screen right there. You can see all the rainwater goes into there and the screen catches leaves and stuff while the water goes in through this hose and pours out there into the barrel. You can see there's that other mesh there to give another um, added layer of uh, filtering or just catching debris. Um, but then the rest of the water goes down that hole and into the gutter. And this window here is just there so you can, if there's any leaves or anything caught in that, you can just um, take them out, clean it up. Um, this hose attached to the side is a uh, overflow valve. So if any water gets, fills up the barrel above this, It'll just go out through here and out that. So this hose I just got at Lowe's um, in the plumbing section. And it was just a one inch um, attachment that fit this brass fitting here. Um, the brass fitting um, and this guy all came with um, the barrel. Um, and uh, from what I've read, um, Collecting rainwater is legal as long as it's for domestic purposes only. So I'm using this specifically to water my pepper plants that'll be growing here outside in the next couple months when it hopefully warms up here soon. Um, I'm gonna open this lid up so you guys can show you the, the inside of the barrel. This comes apart. So you can see that sucker is actually pretty full just from overnight. And it just comes off easily. As long as these rocks run away. The manufacturer just suggested putting some river rocks on top here to add another layer of filtering. So um, that's it guys. Then what we'll end up doing is just using that to fill up my bucket. And then I'll take that and uh, it's gonna go in my future garden bed I've got working on right here. Um, so yeah. That's about it. Um, post any questions you have about the setup below. Um, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.